Hello everyone. I am going to be painting a roseate spoonbill today. Actually, I'm going to be trying to paint um, a roseate spoonbill. Um, what I have here is my first draft, and the colors got they got too dark because I wasn't. I was looking at a bad printout of the picture instead of looking at my computer monitor, which has. A much more vibrant view of this bird. Now I'm hoping I'm hoping with this one I don't need to go through 10 or 12 attempts before I get something I like but you never know. Anyway I took out the uh, previous copy um, the previous attempt and I have my palette that has a lot of pink in it. It's my normally my flower painting palette. And I'm going to be picking out some colors here from my palette. I'm going to be starting with a very light first wash. Um, I'm going to use Holbein Brilliant Pink, which is a light pink. Uh -oh. I didn't really want to get blue. I didn't really I kind of blew it there. I don't want blue in my pink. So just going to be pulling out some color that I'll be working with. Okay, there's a that will do the light pink. Um, the other color I will use. This is a case where you could use Opera Rose because the pink is really bright, but I tried not to use Opera Rose because it's a fugitive color. Take out some permanent rose. Just dilute it a bit. I'll probably dilute it more with the brush. The other color I'm seeing in the painting here, there's kind of an orangey red. And there's a very light purple. So for the purple, I'm just going to use Quinacridone Violet. Like the other color, I will dilute that down a lot. There's also, I'm also seeing some, some kind of orangey red. Kind of on the legs here. Um, some yellow, yellow orange up on the head. Also some yellow up in here. But, and um, up on the back part of the wings, on the next wash, I will be bringing out some naphthol red, which is just a bright red. You can use pyrrole red, use whatever, whatever red you have. It's more of a pure reddish color. But that will go on top of the pink. I'm going to start with these colors, but first I'm going to know myself, and I'm really bad at keeping whites. So, since I'm allergic to masking fluid, I've poured myself some permanent masking medium, which is basically wax, and it does not make me break out in a rash. Oh, and I'm going to regret this on my good brush. I should have taken. So I've taken a not good brush to do this. But first, <laughs> I'm not going to paint on this picture either. Paint from the one on my monitor, which I will share. Put in some of the permanent mask here. And it's really hard to keep track of what's where. Just put some wing tips on here with the white. Um, yep, sorry, I'm already a little lost. Okay, on the bottoms of the feathers, a little bit of white detail. I have dog hair in my brush. I'm just going 
gonna put a tiny bit of masking in here on the bottom of the feathers. Also kind of along the edges of the feathers up here. of the wing here and then I'm going to boldly paint boldly this will help me the white will help me keep track of the edges of the feathers too because when I when I write them out when I trace them, it's really hard to tell one feather from the next. So there. I'm just going to go ahead and put on use my big brush. We'll just pretend the wax is some kind of brush conditioner. And worry about it too much. Now I use my uh, number 12 Dainayu Kalinsky hair um, round. Oh, it's just a fairly big round brush. I'm going to wet the back. I'm going to wet the whole bird. really matter if I gloss the edge. I do kind of like the lost edge effect anyways. So. There are some white feathers that stick out down here, but I will do that with white when I do the finishing details. mixed in my brilliant pink either. But there it is. These feather edges over on the right are almost blue. I will use some blue to do that. Add it into that loose first wash.
color up in here is kind of a blue also for a moment. Let's start with the first loose wash. I'm going to go back over the edges here with a thirsty brush. If I can figure out where the edges are. I can't, I'm going to guess, and it will all be fine. Okay. Now, put my masking medium away. If you don't want to do masking fluid in the first place, you can do white. You can add in white at the end. Mix up some. This is actually royal blue. I believe this is Roman Schmal. Royal blue. Now I dirtied my water. Didn't want to dirty up, but hey, this is very, very blue. Add this. Add this under the wings up over here. for some very, 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 very dilute. <laughs> More dilute than that. Oh, it is hard to tell what's what on these feathers. up here, violet, up in here, there's a, go darker, I can go darker, I can actually add purple, this one is, this darker purple is, is um, oh my gosh, it's like, there's quinacridone, violet, and there's Permanent violet, quinacridone, and they're all they're all really confusing. Now if I'm I'm looking at the reference. Mix some of the two purples. And I'm gonna go down this shadow. Purple, whatever. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you in the description what these colors are for sure. They really are seriously confusing, though.
some of this back up. Quinacridone magenta is going under the wings down here. Actually, this is permanent rose. I forget what I'm doing. Like I said I will tell you the colors in the description. That was this. Top of the wing here. See if I like this when it's done because sometimes I hate it and then I do it over or I don't I, mean, I just give up but who knows let's see this over here is shadow a little bit darker with a darker shade of pink in there well pick this back up the shadow goes pretty much straight down here this to bleed. This is, this is a shadow here, purple. A little more color up in here. This here is way too bright. It's going to need toning down. Let that dry though. together. There we 
having trouble with my paint drying too fast. So I'll just spray it with water. I did that again where I don't want it. Just leave it now and let it dry. Let that first wash dry. Some of it, got, some of it needs to be scrubbed out so it blends. Now you can't see the white where I put the masking. But after I scrub it, you will. Not yet, not on this one. Yeah, maybe. Did, oh, no. I get that. The scrubber brush is called a Princeton Select Fix It brush, and it does what it says. But I'm having a hard time getting the paint out of it. Lighter pink. This along here. This is the darker pink. Leave that alone. Let it dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to pick a color for the head. Oh. It's going to be a combination of yellow, yellow, and a little bit of orange. Dirty. 
was really having a hard time with the brushes today, keeping them clean. Um, the other place that there's yellow is up in... Ah! <laughs> I ever mentioned that I hate it when my yellow turns green? Because it's dead. where that green came from. I detail later. Try this before it gets more bloomy. Okay, and while this is wet, find my salt shaker. She's just run-of-the-mill um, grocery store cheap salt shaker and I'm gonna salt the beak because I want some of that texture in there. <laughs> I can't see the salt. I can't see my paint. Okay, this part, I'm gonna take some Naphtha red here. Just kind of mix it in here. I'm try I'm trying to be brave, guys. One brush in one hand, another brush in another hand. This is, yeah, it needs to be a really light red. It changes from the pinks to a warmer red through here. Just add some of this red color where I see it. Which is why it's really important to have a good photo. There's too much red down here, so it's going up here. claws even go. With this red, I do want some texture, and I'm going to salt it. And let it let the salt 
do its thing. A couple spots where the red just goes across the top of the wings. Now, if you're ever just terrified of your painting, that you're just going to screw it up, just remember, it's just, it's just a piece of paper. I want this good and red in here. I want that light showing through the wind. Reds where it's wet. Put my brushes away. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm take some purple. Put it up here. Let that purple. Get this darker purple. Let that purple just kind of blend in here. but I didn't really want it there. I want this darker. And I know I said I was going to do the first wash, and here I am. What I really want here is my uh, moon glow. Okay, I'll just do the purple here and see if I can mark where these wing wing edges are that I can't see. Okay, no, really, I need to stop. I don't want those quite so defined. I'll be able to see them. doesn't really matter if it blooms out because this is going to be a darker color on top. I like it. All right, and that is the end of this part. Part two is where we go from this ugly, oops, sorry, I missed a shadow part here. This is all kind of shadow. Goes across here. I try to straighten it out. Take it from the ugly stage on to the pretty stage, hopefully. And that's, and that's really all I need to do right now. So it's going to dry. And then I will be back to mess with it more. First, I'm going to blur this out. dry 
And I need to change my water and rinse my brushes good. And it's dinner time here, so I will see you later.